Okay, well, thank you for joining me again for part two. Um, where I left off, I was going to be showing you uh, what the tracking does and um, what it can do for you. So I created a new comp, and what I'm going to do is uh, in the layer, right click, uh, new, solid, and we're going to use red, that's fine. And I'm just going to scale this down. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Uh, going to track this red box. It's going to make it so much easier to show you what I what to do instead of doing it on my piece of film and getting so freaking frustrated because that was a, a, a pain in the freaking butt. Anyway, um, did I mention that, that, that this tracking can get very frustrating and it takes a very long time? Uh, yeah, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this box and leave it there and I'm going to use a wiggle expression to uh, um, control its position so I don't have to keyframe the damn thing. So I'm going to uh, select uh, red solid 2, hit P for position, and uh, go to the stopwatch, alt, click the, hit the alt button, click the stopwatch, brings up our expression controls. And over where it says uh, transform position, I'm going to type in wiggle, G-I-G-G-W-I-G-G-L-E. If you don't know by now, I am an absolutely terrible speller. Uh, parentheses, and it is amount of time, comma, um, the amount that it's being wiggled. So, and it goes by second. So, one equals one times a second, two equals two times a second, three equals three times a second. Now, to get it less than that, you have to start using fractions. So, 0.5 is once every two seconds, uh, 0.25 is once every four seconds, 0.125 is once every eight seconds. You really have to do a little bit of math for that. Um, so I want it to move fairly slowly. So I'm going to do uh, 0.0625. That's one eighth. And when I said O, I meant zero, not really O. And comma. And one move a pretty decent amount. So we'll say maybe 300 pixels. Close close parentheses, enter, just for good measure, and you see it's already moved, and so that's what we got for 10 seconds. Not too bad. Now, actually, let me up this to 0.125, and give it a little bit more movement in there. There we go. That'll work. Okay, so we're going to track this uh, red box here, and I'll be pretty easy because we can either track the whole thing which should a little overkill or we can just track one of the corners okay so we have this here and what we are going to do is we're going to go over to uh, my tracking workspace and I'm going to show you a few little tri uh, tricks and t uh, tips and tricks here um, say you have a piece of color footage and uh, setting up the tracking, you want to select an area that is very distinct, uh, whether it's by color it's or by shape. Um, so what we have to do, like I said before, we have to pre-compose a layer that has the effect on it. Um, the effect is, again, uh, constraining in <clears throat> the colors or the black and whites to make it uh, um, more readable for uh, your, tr your tracking. Um, sometimes you don't have to do it, so I mean, if you don't need to, don't worry. It's not like something you have to do. <clears throat> okay, so let me go back, move that track. Go to my workspace, and it actually removed. <coughs> remove the effect. Ah, I think that's what it does. I, I never noticed it because I, I never... Uh... Okay. Take three. Um. <coughs> Shit. Okay, what am I going to say? Um... 
Okay, I'm back. Uh, sorry to keep you guys waiting. I uh, did a little, did a little research because uh, um, when this has happened to me before, I never even really thought about it. I just, I just made a workaround. So I figured I better check it out just to make sure. So when you guys, you know, mess around with the tracking and stuff, you won't be like, hey, he's wrong. So um, I did a little bit of checking around. It turns out um, that when you're tracking. It does not look at the lower uh, layer. I mean, I'm sorry, the composition below you, uh, below the composition you're tracking from. The uh, reason I said that is because I would have an effect on the layer, uh, constraining the black, blacks and whites, and when I would hit tracking, the effect would go away, as if it was looking at the layer, uh, the the composition below, which has no effect on it. Uh, what turns out is if you have an effect on that layer in that composition and you try to track that composition uh, that that uh, layer in the composition that has an effect, it will remove the effect. It won't look at the uh, at the composition below. It'll all, right all out remove the effect from that layer. Um, so what you want to do is when you apply that effect to that layer in the composition, um, you want to precompose that layer so when you track on the new precomposed layer there will be no effect for the tracking to remove because it'll be on the composition below okay any questions hopefully I'm not too confusing because I kinda confuse myself so if anything else just remember when you apply effect to a layer um, to constrain the colors and blacks and whites for tracking precompose it use a precomposed layer that has no effect on it just remember that. Don't don't have to worry about anything else. Okay, let's get let's get back to what we're doing. So I'm going to reapply a f the uh, um, effect color correction, hue saturation. Let's bring down saturation again. And I'm going to go uh, one composition up. And as you can see, it has absolutely no effect because that's on the composition below. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go over to switch my workspace to tracking and first thing we want to do is we're going to hit uh, track motion you can hit stabilize motion but that's something completely different that's for actually stabilizing camera movement uh, so we want to track the motion so hit track motion and it'll bring up it'll put that layer in a new window um, the window that originally in it was in it was for the entire composition for all the layers. It brings up a uh, a layer window which just shows what's in that single layer. Okay, um, so now what we want to do is we want to uh, personally I prefer to, to click on this uh, um, the second one because that that seems to work a lot better because um, if you click on the outside one this is what you get and you click on little thingy on the inside it just moves around by itself so uh, the second one Ruby just drag okay and we're gonna zoom in so I can show you guys